Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Grayson and you should totally subscribe. Today I'm painting my white vans. Um, I've had these vans for a while. I've had them for, I got them in maybe December. Who knows? Sometime in 2018, I'm pretty sure. And um, they're kind of now like looking. And these are when they just got washed. So we, I'm decide, I decided to paint my vans because um, they'll look more cute. And yeah, so they're kind of they're old, but not real old. Like if you know what I mean. But um. Yeah, but today we're going to be painting my white vans. So, so, and get started. So, we made a Walmart run today and got all our paint colors, all our paint brushes, all the good old dandy stuff you need to paint your vans or whatever shoes you're gonna paint. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys all the colors that I got. Um, I decided to go with a little like pastel colors, not like really bright, vivid colors. I didn't really want that. I'm just going with pastel colors because those are like the best. <laughs> um, so the first, um, so we all got, I got all this from Walmart. This is the multi-surface cobalt hue. Um, it looks like this. Um, yeah, that. Um, so we got that. Um, we have the multi-surface baby pink. I have to be a beauty guru right now, but yeah, there's that color. And then for the last paint color that we have, we have the multi-surface patina. However you say that word, but yeah anyway so that's all my paint colors that i have um and then i have this little um marker type thing kind of like a sharpie but it's not by sharp by sharpie but um this is just a metallic gold and it has and for this I would choose like three main colors, like the like uh, like these, like three main colors, like these, and like paint and actual paint, and make sure it's like multi-surface, and make sure it is dishwasher safe because you don't want to go outside in your nice, good shoes that you just painted and have it rain and it all like wash off. So make sure it is dishwasher a dishwasher safe because we don't want that happening so and that's all for like the colors that I have and for my paint brushes I have this little set um right here it has a bunch of different type of paint brushes like these these and then these these um and then I'm just sitting down and I have this tarp not tarp this little thing so we don't get on the table because we don't want that happening and then we just got this to put our paint on um so we got this or you could take a bowl whatever uh, we just didn't have any plastic bowls so we just taking this and then a solo cup New red solo cup <laughs> filled with water for your paintbrush so need this solo cup <laughs> Um, so that's all the stuff you need and then let's just go ahead and start painting our bands correction this is This is to set your paintbrush on and then you need several Solo cups one for your water for your paintbrush and then um, Several different depending on how many paint colors you have so I have three different paint colors now I need three solo cups that we filled the paint with. 
we filled we put our paint in and then this is not all of it this is just some of it that we will use for now so we have our mint kind of color in here our baby pink and our blue yeah so we have all of that and now before you start you need to figure out what you're painting on your vans because once you start painting there's really no turning back now <laughs> I hate to say that but there so you need to figure out what you're wanting to paint on your vans if you need it. some inspiration um you can go on pinterest they have a bunch of cool things um you can just look up on safari google whatever you have like painted vans painted shoes whatever just get some inspiration people got it so um you can do a pattern you can do a tie-dye type thing you can do little doodles it doesn't matter what you want to do um so just make sure before you start painting make sure you figure out what you want to do so yeah actually i need to start doing that right now so i'll get back to you guys in a minute when i found find out what i want to paint so the look I'm trying to achieve with my vans is just like kind of look like you just slap something on that um, sucker but like make it cute and not just like sloppy. So let's just start. I mean, yeah. So I think with the first color I'm going to do is the Batina, this color. So we're just going to get our color right here in this little solo cup and take this brush and just start doing strokes and it doesn't matter where i put the stroke just as i think that was a little too much so um this is my first stroke Let me make sure i don't get my hand in it because that would be bad this is my first stroke i'm just gonna like continue on just in different places just to vary with it and um if you're doing the kind of look I'm doing and you're trying to make it kind of rustic looking and if you get too much on your paintbrush if that happens just like keep on like hold on like if it looks like this at the top right here if it looks like this one just keep on like painting like not painting but kind of like go over it so it's not just like globbed on there if that makes sense yeah, so just do that and now I'm now I'm going to like the shoe. I did both sides or both shoes. This is what I got so far. So I did both shoes and now we have our first color on and we have to let it dry for an hour, so um yeah, so we're just going to let that dry and then add the pink when this dries. So, yeah. And when you get done with your paintbrush, just dip it in your water. Uh, and, yeah, that way it gets the paint off. But you may use that brush again. So, yeah. So. Uh, I was wrong about having to wait for an hour. Um, you probably had to wait like 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes in that time range. And, um, yeah, so this is what I have so far. And now we're just going to go in with pink. Yeah, so we're just going to use this pink and use the this same brush after we got the patina paint whatever it's called off of it and we're just going to start doing the same thing but with a different color so yeah it's okay if it goes over the color you just use but yeah see it's okay if it goes over the same color but What I would do is kind of add a little bit of white still 
not just cover the whole thing in that specific color or the colors you're using. I I'm just gonna leave a little bit of white in there. So and um you have on our pink. Oh, trying not to get it on me. Oh crap! I think I failed. It's okay though. This is what it looks like so far, but I'm not done yet. I like it a lot. And then if you need to, like on this shoe, added a little too much pink, and I kind of want it to make to to look evened out, and not just like specifically one color and then have just a little bit of the other color i want it to be like half and half almost if that makes sense so um after this dries for like 20 minutes i'll go back and add a little bit more green and just touch up on that part and then we will move on to the accents of our shoe so yeah so i touched up the part that had a lot more pink than it did the Partina. So I fixed that and now it's time for the the cobalt hue. <laughs> um and we're just gonna we're not going to do strokes like I did with the pink and the Partina. We're gonna take this little tiny brush right here and do little dots and little swirls and stuff and then I'm going to add the gold with it and then we'll be done with our vans. So let's just do that. So I'm going to take my blue, a little dots. And I don't know if you can tell. Right there, you see that? It looks good. So let's just continue doing that. We are finished doing the different dots with um with our cobalt cobalt whatever how you say it I don't know. I do it in, I think I'm gonna do this maybe a couple dots with the gold, but I think I'm gonna just do the like little swirls with that. Um, but here's what it looks like, and I'm really loving it. I really like it. Just all the pastel colors and things like that. So, um, we're just gonna let that dry. It shouldn't take as long as the other because it's not just straight strokes. It's just little tiny dots everywhere. Um, so that shouldn't take as long. And then the final part, I think, I don't know, we'll see with the gold. I think I'm gonna do the swirls with this. I think I'm just gonna do dots. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. It's just with a marker. So. We are now done painting our vans. I really like them. I'm not gonna pick them up and show you because they're still a little wet, but I'll insert a picture in three, two, one. So that was the before and the after picture, and I really, really like them. And um, this, like, you can do, like, if you have any dirty shoes that, like, you can still wear, like, they're in good condition, like, they're just dirty, and, like, you tried washing them, and the dirt still, or the grass stains, or dirt stains, or whatever, still won't come off. I definitely recommend painting shoes because. These, like, you saw how dirty they were before, and, like, now you, can, you can't you can tell, like, and that, it's really cool, and you did them yourself, so, yeah, it was really cool, and, um, it, it was really fun, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, please just make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe down below, and click that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.